The Mona Lisa may be the most famous smile in the world, but that's not all the museums in the City of Light have to offer. While visiting the Louvre is a must, you should check out the other fantastic museums. All kinds of visual art are represented here, from modern art to galleries dedicated to Monet and Picasso to architectural marvels. So, take your camera and get ready to discover the top 10 museums in Paris and the three things to see in each one. Do you like our videos? Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notified of our latest videos. Starting off the list at number 10 is, Musée Rodin. With an average of about 700,000 visitors each year, the Musée Rodin housed within the walls of the Hotel Buran is considered one of Paris's most famous tourist attractions. Auguste Rodin, the father of modern sculpture, used to work here in the 20th century. Now, the place is scattered with thousands and thousands of his artworks. Countless photographs, sculptures, drawings, and objects are displayed in the museum. The place has also become ideal for couples to enjoy a romantic walk surrounded by beautiful, valuable art. Among the collection's highlights at Musée Rodin would be Denade, Meditation or the Inner Voice, and Monument to Balzac. Next at number 9 is, Musée Carnavalet. The Musée Carnavalet is a museum dedicated to Paris itself. People who want to learn more about the city and its history visit it. The Musée Carnavalet now houses a massive collection of over 600,000 objects, some of which are the stained glass windows from the chapel of the College of Dormans Beauvais. Among the most significant changes in the museum's new design is better accessibility for visitors with limited mobility. Tickets to the primary collection are free and do not need to be reserved in advance. The top three things to see at Musée Carnavalet would be the themed exhibitions, the Prince's Gold Cradle, and Marie Antoinette's The Cake Lady. Next in line at number 8 is, Musée Jacques Martandre. Inspired by the last names of the collector couple Edouard André and Neely Jacquemart, the Musée Jacques Martandre is currently located in what used to be their home. The couple collected the most exquisite art pieces they could find every year. Even after Andres passed, Jacquemart expanded their collection by heading to Asia. After its completion, she surrendered their entire collection to the Institut de France, which opened it as a museum in 1913. The mansion, now a museum, is where you can find the works of Vittori Carpaccio, Andrea Mantegna, and Sandro Botticelli, among many others. There also is a cute café where visitors can enjoy a sweet cup of coffee while appreciating the various masterpieces. Among the collection's highlights at Musée Jacques Martandre would be the Grand Salon, the Tapestry Room, and the Library. Coming in at number 7 is, Musée Gimmet. Home to the most extensive collection of Asian arts in Europe, the Musée National de Arts Asiatiques Gimmet amassed the finest artwork from Korea, Japan, Thailand, China, Malaysia, Vietnam, Cambodia, Pakistan, Nepal, and India. Inside the museum, a library can be found where visitors can appreciate works on art, religion, and philosophy as well. The top three things to see at Musée Guimet would be the Japanese garden, Buddha, and Zen monk statues and Khmer treasures. Next at number six is Musée Gustave Moreau. The Musée Gustave Moreau was named after its original owner. Gustave Moreau worked with an architect to turn his home into a museum. Moreau's parents purchased the house, and they shared it with him. Initially, the third floor was designed to be Moreau's studio. However, it was transferred to the top floor, which you can only access through a spiral staircase. In 1897, Gustave Moreau donated his home and its treasures to the state, which they declined but later decided to accept. The collection is composed of Moreau's sketches, watercolors, and paintings. In addition to these, there are also his drawings which total an astounding 6,300 artworks. Some of his famous art are Chimera, The Return of the Argonauts, and Semele, all mythological pieces. Among the collection's highlights at Musée Gustave Moreau would be Song of Songs, Ghost, and Oedipus and Sphinx. Let's continue with number 5, Musée de la Vie Romantique. Even before it became a museum, the Musée de la Vie Romantique already had an artistic background. It used to be the house of a Dutch-French painter named Ari Scheffer. The ground floor of the building serves as a tribute to writer George Sand. It is filled with portraits, furniture, and jewelry from the 18th to the 19th centuries. The second level honors the original owner Scheffer and his contemporaries. The house also has a living room and a studio which became the workplace of Scheffer and his brother Henry. The pretty courtyard outside the house has now become a site where exhibitions are held, and the greenhouse inside the garden has a comfy coffee shop, making the whole art experience better. The top three things to see at Musée de la Vie Romantique would be the George Sand collection, Paolo and Francesca, and the piano in the middle of the exhibition hall. Next at number four is, Musée d'Art, Moderne de la Ville, de Paris. 
This museum is situated on the left wing of the Palais de Tokyo, which André Aubert and Jean-Claude Dondel designed. The museum contains one of the largest collections of both French contemporary and modern arts. The collection consists of more than 100,000 art pieces created by renowned artists, some of which are Pablo Picasso, Amadeo Modigliani, Christian Boltanski, and André Dura. This art collection is already so overwhelming and will continue to grow over the years. Among the collection's highlights at Musée d'Art Moderne de la Ville, de Paris would be Femme Uxu Blues by Amadeo Modigliani, Evocacion Nouvelle Enterment de Casagimas by Pablo Picasso and Lube News by Albert Gleizes. Coming in at number 3 on the list is, Centri Papidou. The Centri Papidou first opened its doors in 1977, and its high-tech design brought the spotlight to the structure. This establishment comprises a public library, a center for music and acoustic research, and the Musée National de Art Moderne, the largest museum of modern art in Europe. The Centri Papidou currently has two branches, the Centri Papidou Malaga and the Centri Papidou X West Bund Museum project in Shanghai. At present, there are discussions about expanding the museum and opening more branches around the globe. The top three things to see at Centri Papidou would be the Fountain by Marcel Duchamp, Hotel by Sophie Caillet, and Autodix. Next at number two on the list is, Musée d'Orsay. Located on the left bank of the Seine, the Musée d'Orsay is one of Europe's most prominent museums. The establishment initially had a different purpose before transforming into a museum and cultural landmark in the late 1980s. The museum is home to various French art pieces, which include a massive collection of works by artists like Vincent van Gogh, Edgar Degas, Claude Monet, Paul Gauguin, and Edouard Monet. Musée d'Orsay is restoring the Hotel de Mailly Nestle built during the 17th century. It is set to be reopened in 2026. Among the collection's highlights at Musée d'Orsay would be the small dancer aged 14, Ball du Moulin de la Galette, and Polar Bear. And now, the number one on the list is, Musée du Louvre. The Louvre can be considered the most famous landmark in Europe. It is housed inside the Louvre Palace at the right bank of the Seine. The Louvre became the primary residence of French kings. However, during the French Revolution, the National Assembly made it a museum for France's treasures. The Louvre consists of eight divisions, Egyptian Antiquities, Near Eastern Antiquities, Greek, Etruscan, and Roman Antiquities, Islamic Art, Sculpture, Decorative Arts, Paintings, and Prints and Drawings. These eight departments make the Louvre a beautiful maze and a work of art. Finally, it also houses a picturesque courtyard with a beautiful glass and metal pyramid. Not only is the Louvre the biggest museum, but it has also garnered the title of the most visited museum in the world, with about 10 million visitors annually. The Louvre also houses the infamous Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. Home to over 38,000 masterpieces and artifacts from centuries ago, it is impossible to see all these beautiful artworks found in the Louvre in one day. It is a place you must return to, no questions asked. The top three things to see at Musée du Louvre would be the Mona Lisa, Psyche revived by Cupid's Kiss, and Liberty leading the people. And that brings us to the end of our video. There are around 130 museums to explore in Paris, so even if you've seen everything listed in this video, there's still plenty more to see. Watch more of our Paris videos to help you fill the remainder of your time in the city. Until next time.